welcome back for more Tunic. And I am angry. <laughs> because I've spent a long time going through this boss. And the reason I've spent a long time going through this boss is because while I have actually finished the game twice now, I have run into just the most ridiculous technical issues in recording this thing and getting this on tape. So the first time I went through, did the whole thing, beat it, got the ending, and discovered that the game audio did not record. So I went back to do it again. This time took even longer because for whatever reason I could not utilize the strategies I had discovered during that run correctly finished it again only to discover that the recording had frozen so this is attempt number three to go through and to get this down I am not happy I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've discovered as I attempt to fight through here but let's go ahead and at least get a start on run <laughs> recording number three run number one because this is ridiculous so let's do it so let's hope I get it right on the first go probably not but we're gonna try so the first thing I discovered is that if you activate your soul echo close to the boss they will stagger so if you die a lot draw them in close get some initial shots in Given I haven't landed another one, and I'm already hurting pretty badly, you know, that gives you a pretty good opening to this fight. So thing number two I discovered, in a panic, like, button mashing state, is that if you hit both, if you try to shoot both the wands and the dagger at the same time, you will shoot you will you will shoot a freeze bolt which I did not know and that's incredibly handy because the boss here if you freeze them comes out of that frozen state exactly the same way every time Now I put myself in some pretty deep trouble here. Because I'm just kind of flailing away because I'm really frustrated right now. <laughs> I'm just re I'm I'm pretty angry <laughs> right now. So I'm just kind of flailing away. I'm not really being too careful, which is probably going to get me killed here. Um, but I can hope that it won't. Hopefully my ability to push two buttons at the same time will carry me through. Considering that has been an issue for me in some of these fights. And you've seen it here already. Where I go to push them and I just hit the wand button first. So it just fires the wand bolt, which does me like no good in this fight. Yep, and there it was. There was the uh, inability to hit both buttons at the same time, so I just fired the wand bolt. I went after it like it was actually it actually had worked uh, the way I wanted it to, and it didn't. So I got me killed. Like I said, inability to push two buttons at the same time. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's give it another go. So those are the, the two major strategies that I figured out is... The, the soul, you know, get some free shots in, and the freeze bolt, and the coming out of the freeze. And that works with the dagger, too. Like, if you just use the normal dagger, um, they'll always come out the same way every time with that dash, and then follow it up with another swing. Let's do it again. 
or try it again, I should say. Oh no, I uh, wasted it, shoot. That's the only downside to doing that, is you might not time it right, depending on where the boss is. in front of that because I've done that a bunch. Alright, phase one done. Okay. Get a couple cheap shots in here. And run away. Paid closer attention to my mana. I was trying to fire it off when I didn't have any left. Yeah, I think my frustration is just leading me to do really stupid things at this point. <laughs> I need to uh, settle in, settle in, and, and get this down. That's what I do a lot, that overhand swing. I, like, teleport, I guess, maybe a, a second too early or a little bit too early. And then the swing comes right on my head, even though I'm, like, on the other side. Oh, good lord. This is frustrating. I've beaten this twice already. <laughs> and I'm trying to get it on camera and actually have it come out correctly. I'm having to go back and do this a third time. <laughs> I'm frustrated. Let's do this. Come on. No, hit the thing. Thank you. Do 
the second one. Uh, I thought you were going to do the overhand. Alright, we're going to stay far away. There we go. That's the timing I wanted. That, however, was not. Alright. No, I want you to swing at me. No, that's not what I'm asking you to do. Still not what I'm asking you to do. Oh, come on. I definitely hit the button to teleport. Okay. Oh my word. <laughs> I am so done with this right now. <laughs> oh. Alright, now that's three times now I have done this. <laughs> Give me the colors. <laughs> Invariably, something has gone wrong with this recording. I'm going to have to do it a fourth time. <laughs> and then I will scream. And now I get locked away. Because apparently that's how things work around here. So how do the keys get back? They just like fly away, just pew, to wherever they go, and whatever bosses guard them just come back to life or something. I don't know. I'm thinking too much about this, clearly. Uh, so yeah, that's Tunic. <laughs> when it actually wants to record. You know, I had fun with this. I 
definitely got frustrated at some points, like right now. <laughs> um, but this was fun. Uh, I enjoyed this a lot. There are some things that... There are some things I didn't like. I didn't like the fact that... Like, there's no definitive method, at least in-game, to uh, decipher the manual. I'm sure there was something that I've completely missed. Um, and I know it's... And I've been told that's how I know it. It's just kind of like... It's just a cipher. But the thing is, is trying to pick up, okay, how do I read this? I think that's the biggest thing. Um, is it a like two-line thing? Is it a one-line thing? I'm assuming it's left to right. Um, but there are a couple questions that I don't know on that. So that's one thing I didn't appreciate. I did really love the manual, though. Like, I can tell the inspiration from, like, old-school uh, Legend of Zelda. Like, I remember looking at the Zelda 2 manual, and it was just, like, captivated by all the stuff that's in there, and that's really reminiscent of that. I'm assuming that's what they were going for, and uh, they did a really good job with that. So that was really, really cool. Um, the exploration aspect was neat. Um, I, it made me feel really stupid sometimes, <laughs> um, and it made me feel really smart sometimes when I would figure something out. Um, so that's a that's a good mechanic. The, I feel like the difficulty, at least for me, uh, is is like just right. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of difficulties with the bosses, as you have seen, um, but I don't feel like any of them were were unfair. Like, a lot of it was just some practice um, in learning the patterns and being able to adapt. Um, some of it also was, at least for me, not getting really angry and doing stupid stuff, like in the last boss fight. Um, but yeah, like, the difficulty I feel like is really good. I can see how it frustrates some people. Um, I can see how it's gotten its kind of, like, Dark Souls-ish reputation. But, you know, I feel like this is a little more forgiving. Which is kind of nice. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. Now, obviously, we're still going through the credits here. Um, and we're getting up towards the end. I already know what's gonna pop up here at the end, because, like I said, I beat this twice. Um, and had technical difficulties both other times that I did. Um, which is <laughs> why I was a little salty going into this one. Um, but... <clears throat> so now, I'm going to get presented with a little bit of a choice here. Now apparently I'm only missing two manual pages. Unfortunately, I don't know where they are, nor where to find... Like, where to even begin. I imagine... One is probably behind that door in the mountain. And... there, I, Maybe there's one tied to, like, the fairies that I was finding earlier. Um, I can't think of another place that I haven't explored on the map. But there might be something. Like, I'll have to go back and think about this. But, um... Join me for a little bit of an addendum while I go and, and try to find those two pages, and then maybe we'll see the other ending, but that's for not today. So join me then, won't you? <laughs> 